So you have this hot topic you want to teach your audience and you want to use a screen recording to teach them. Well, let me show you how to create an educational reel using a screen recording. Hi, I'm Wonderful Ida, a digital course video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. I teach you how to film yourself so you can film once to teach many. If you want to leverage your expertise to make money, then make sure to subscribe to my channel because I have new videos every Wednesday. So you want to film an Instagram Reel, but your Instagram Reel includes a screen recording. So you want to teach something that you've shown on your screen. So I'm going to show you how. So we're going to start by maybe doing an intro to what you're going to be filming. So I'm going to go into Instagram, I'm going to go into Reels, and I'm going to increase the length to 60 seconds because I can always film less, but I can't ever change, I can't increase that length of the video until once I've started recording. So I'm going to just introduce what I'm going to be filming this screen recording about. So here's my quick tip on how to use TikTok to come up with real ideas. Okay, so now I'm going to record my screen recording. To record a screen recording, it, you will have the screen recording option available here in your control center. However, if that's not available right there, to access it, you're going to want to go to your settings and your control center. Here's your control center, which allows you to choose which apps you're going to have appear in your control center. So right here, I have screen recording. Say I don't have screen recording available in this list. All I do is I scroll down, I find screen recording, I press plus, and now screen recording will be available here. So when I use my menu to drop down, I can see screen recording right there. When I push down on screen recording, it will allow me to either turn the mic on or off. So this is if I want to record it with the audio or not. And then say yes, because I like it so I can sync my audios when I'm filming something. And then you just press start recording. It's going to give you a timer down to three, and then it's going to be recording. So you can exit out of this once it's recording. And then you're going to see up here, it's going to go red and it's gonna have your time. As long as this is red, that means it's recording your screen. So make sure your mic is on when you're recording, start your screen recording, and then do your tutorial. So in TikTok, click on Discover. Okay, so I recorded my screen recording, I saved my screen recording, and now I can add it as an existing file. So I have two ways of adding this to my reel. So let's record this again. So the first way is I can go back into my Instagram Reels. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna slide up. When I slide up, I'm going to see my screen recording. I can click on my screen recording and then I can trim the beginning and the end. But you see, when I do it this way, the video is filling up the whole screen and it's really hard to see what I'm talking about. So there's another thing that you can do. So what I suggest is going into Canva. And then you're going to add a reel. There you go, you don't need the template. Now you're going to upload your video. Let's upload, upload media, select your video, add it. It's gonna take a moment to upload it. Ooh, once it's uploaded, you'll see, be able to see that cover of it. It did take forever. And so you can see the video right here. You can adjust the size of it. You can hear the audio of this. I'm just gonna turn down the audio on there so you don't hear it. Now you can design this so that it adds your branding. So you can click on the back, change the color. I've been really obsessed with yellow lately. So let's keep the yellow. And then you can add an element that's gonna make it look like a phone. So to do that, go down to the plus sign and you're gonna go to elements and you're gonna type in phone frame. Pick your phone frame. You can adjust the color 
Ooh, that looks good. Yeah, I like that. Wait, no, it didn't change the color. I just added the border. Yes. And then you just stretch your phone to fit. This phone frame's not gonna work for me. Let's delete that one. Let's check another phone frame. So plus, my phone's a little bit bigger, so let's try this one. Ooh, there we go. So you're just gonna wanna fit your frame around your phone. There you go, and now at the bottom you can see the colors, so you can change the colors. Perfect. You can add any background elements you want to it, but basically it's just going to play your video, the exact same video, but it's gonna have that phone frame on top of it. So we want to save that, so just press the save button and download. Now you're just gonna have to wait another while for it to process everything. Great opportunity to have a drink. I'll be back, it's probably gonna take another hour or so. <laughs> so there is my video. Now I can go back into Instagram Reels and I can see my new video is right there. So now I can add it into my reel. So I'm just gonna trim the beginning. I can cut this, I don't need to type out the niche. And then, so if you wanna cut certain parts of it, just add the part that you want and then add it again and then trim to the next part. So I started typing, let's see, there. Search. Let's add that. So as I'm talking about what to click on, it would be good for me to have some kind of arrow or something indicating what I'm clicking on. So to do that, I'm gonna use the graphics. So I'm gonna wait till the menu's on top and I can add the graphics module. So the graphics module is the happy face. Click on that and then I can type in arrow. There we go. If I click on the design here at the bottom, I'm able to then select which part of the video it's gonna show up in. You can also go in and fine tune this. So I'm gonna go back in and then fine tune this. So I thought this was too long. So once you have it filmed, if you like the voiceover that you used in here, that's great, you can use that. Or say you want to dub a certain part and you want to add voiceover, you can always click on the voiceover icon, put the indicator where you want the voiceover to start, and then you can re-record the voiceover. So I can play the video. You can change it by this week, by this month, and then I can preview it with that. And if I don't like that, I can always get rid of that voiceover. So there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and it's given you a better idea of how to post tutorials onto Reels. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up or better yet, leave me a comment below. I have new videos out each and every Wednesday. Until next time, peace.